calculate. Frank, calm, peso, or piaster, dollar, ruble, or yen. If they stop moving, it's disaster till they're moving again. It's got to circulate, circulate, come out of the woods. Stimulate, motivate, service and goods. It's no nest egg to incubate. Money's got to circulate. Money's got to circulate. One million, two million, three million, four. up a bit, <laughs> keeping things neat. Now, what can I do for you, laddies? Pull up a column and have a seat. Look at all the money we've earned, Unc. Ah, that's what I like to see. Hmm. A dollar ninety-five. That's right. Gee, he sure knows his money. Aye. And uh, what do you plan to do? We want you to save it for us so we can be rich like you. Well, saving is the first important step, no doubt. But money is something you should learn more about. I'm not the richest duck in the world today because I just salted my money away. Uh, which brings up a point. If you'll step from the vault, once money really was salt. Salt? That's hard to believe. Ah, but that was the pay a Roman soldier would receive. And if he was lazy or his work was at fault, do you know what folks said? He isn't worth his salt. Uh, aye. Salt was called salarium. That's where our word salary comes from. Oh, look. Pirate money. Aye. A piece of eight. Why was it called that? Here, I'll demonstrate. In a piece of eight, eight pieces fit. Every piece is called a bit. Four of the bits in each half sits, and half of a half is called... Two bits. Correct. Now, these ancient Greek obols, tiniest coins of all, were carried in the mouth. They were so wee small. When a Greek went shopping, <laughs> think of the axe as he coughed up the price <laughs> and swallowed the tax. <laughs> now, the largest coin is this stone wheel from the island of Yap. It's too big to steal. My laddies, that's so. Now there was a time when there was no money in those dark ages of primitive man. You see, money wasn't really needed until civilization began. A group of cavemen met one day to see if they could trade. They brought in spears and tiger skins and tools that they had made. But how many tools for a tiger skin and how many skins for a spear? The aggregation in frustration hollered loud and clear. We need money. Some form of money. How should we go about this anyhow? We could use corn or salt or oats. Dried fish, perhaps. Or nanny goats. But we must set a standard of value now. Survey of the polls reveals that goats got all the votes. Then some smart joker priced a knife at three and one half goats. <laughs> so back to the salt and the tiger skin, dried fish and pepper and tea, corn and beef and shells and seeds, as men cried bitterly, we need money, some stable money. Why should this be so awkward in a race? We ought to try some metal things like swords or hooks or pots or rings and thus improve our medium of exchange. Well, articles of silver, copper, bronze, and gold were tried. And most successful was a disc with pictures on each side. Along with the coin came the paper bill, backed by a government's name. They both cashed good like good cash should, but man, they all just the same. We need money, convenient money, to 
carpet stuff around it to absurd. Why can't we store it high and dry and sign for everything we buy? It would be great if payment could be deferred. Aye, that's exactly what occurred. Next came checks and credit cards and purchasing on time. When spending grows so easy, it's hard to save a dime. Most men keep a family well fed today, clothed and sufficiently warm. But in the main, their wives complain from habits they have formed. We need money! Boy, we need money! It's finally reached the stage that we adore. We're glad we don't need fish or oats or tiger skins or nanny goats. Our money's fine, now all that we need is more. Uncle Scrooge, why don't they just print up a few billion or so? A few billion? Oh, dear, no. By that word billion, how it's abused. If it weren't so frightening, I'd be amused. Folks have no conception. Now, how much is in this hat? Gee, a billion? Or more than that. See what I mean? They were nowhere near. There's only a hundred thousand here. A billion dollars stacked up right without an accident. Is about 800 times the height of the Washington Monument. A billion dollars on the ground, all stretched out and uncurled, would extend about four times around the circumference of the world. Picked one up each second, day and night without a break. In 32 years, you'd have them all. But oh, your back would ache. A billion dollars, six feet wide, and arched across the sea. What a nice green bridge to walk or ride to the beach at Waikiki. Gosh, a billion sure is a lot. Aye, now print several billion and see what you've got. But unless something's behind it, in the treasury, something solid and secure, <clears throat> like me, we'd have inflation. Inflation? Oh, that's a mess. Your money would be worth less and less. I might take this hat full, I dare say, to buy what your piggy bank would buy today. A dollar wouldn't be worth the paper it's printed on. <clears throat> It's what you can buy with what you've got. That's what counts. It's a question of economics. Economics? Aye. It only means household management. It's from an old Greek word. Household management, that's budgeting, do you can? Budgeting? Aye. Financial discipline. Let's say your income is like a pie. There's a piece for everything you buy. Cut portions wisely. Don't be unnerved. Or it will all be gone before everyone is served. You have to pay the rent. And you have to buy clothes. The grocery bills. You have to pay those. You can see at once where your money all goes. When you plan the budget. The first of every month the installments fall due. The note on the car. The TV set too. You'll be better off when you finally get through working out the budget. Pink, blue, and white bills all over the place. The power and light bills staring you directly in the face. Payments cut in half for you want to be fair. You send a bit here, you send a bit there. Now you realize that you're getting somewhere balancing the budget. We've been somewhat lax. We forgot the piece for the income tax. Income tax? Aye. Though taxes are a pain in the whatchamacallit, uh, this right here, the wallet, 
Taxes are the funds governments must get to run their households and keep out of debt. Aye, that they do. <laughs> that they do. You see, the government provides, through the taxes we pay, our bridges and schools and places to play. Build the county road or the modern highway. Call for in the budget. Departments of police and of water and fire. The various courts, the juries they hire. Aeroplanes and ships and the care they require. All are in the budget. No one relaxes when tax deadlines fall. But without our taxes, we would have no government at all. In budgeting a home and a government too, it really should show a profit to you. Something should be left when the payments are through. When you plan the budget, always remember to save a slice for yourself. When you plan the budget. After all, it's your pie. And that's how I became rich. Making the little slices grow. Money shouldn't be idle and must be put to work, you know. Oh, yeah? How about all that idle dough you got stashed away? Oh, no, lads. This is just petty cash. Moves in and out each day. If I sat on my money, I might just as well be stranded on a desert island for all the good to do me. I couldn't eat it, couldn't wear it, couldn't use it. Ooh, I can't bear it. Help. Money should never stagnate, but like ocean currents, circulate. Like the ocean currents control the world's weather, you see. Circulating money controls the economy. Money must keep moving to fulfill its obligation. And if you squeeze it too tight, you'll stop its circulation. <laughs> That's a bunny one. And how true. We don't want that to happen to our money. We, we want our piggy bank to grow. Well, making a shrewd investment is the soundest way I know. Uh, this way, please, uh, prospects. It behooves you when investing to investigate the facts, and you'll profit while digesting how a corporation acts. Let us take a firm at random. For example, this one here. From the start of the second quarter to the end of the fiscal year. Oh, it's simple. Isn't it simple? Yet you have to understand it to survive. All the facts you must digest if you're thinking to invest the remarkable sum of a dollar ninety-five. Oh, it's simple. Isn't it simple? In the proper hands, your money is the lie. All the facts you must digest if you're thinking to invest the remarkable sum of a dollar ninety-five. Now, laddies, is everything clear? Uh-uh. No. But it sounds like a good deal. <laughs> fine, fine. Sign here. Ah, congratulations, stockholders. There'll be a three-cent fee. Three-cent fee? For my time and consultation. Nothing good is ever free. And now our money's going to work. Right, Uncle Smooch? Aye, laddies. You've made a handsome start. You've invested very wisely. And investing wisely is an art. It's gotta circulate, circulate, round and around. Circulate, circulate, get off the ground. You need the direction to journey to. If you want your body to be good to you, it's gotta circulate, circulate, come out of the woods. Stimulate, motivate, service and goods. It's no nest egg to incubate. Money's got to circulate. 